All right, here we go. We're back at it again. Hot 1077's Game of the Week. Your guy, Darian Pippins, is here. We're here at the Bessemer City McAdory game. Man, this is one of the biggest rivalries in the city of Birmingham, and this is to be one of the best games all season. guys struggled offensively throughout the game but defensively y'all showed up throughout the entire game doesn't matter who says this first but talk to us about what the message y'all wanted to send to your team by coming through we would tell them keep fighting hard we can fight through adversity every play every play we work too hard to get beat by a team that we're better than offense got to step it up and we got to keep grinding on defense you guys made a lot of Big tackles down the stretch of this game. Talk to me about the last, the last two drives of the game. Uh, we had, they got the best machine got the ball back, came out, got a big tackles, a lot of tackles. Uh, quarterback broke one run, came back for a penalty. We ended up stopping him to win the game. Mental composure in the game is something that a lot of coaches preach. What did Coach Powell talk to you guys coming into the fourth quarter as y'all got ready to take the lead and get the crucial stop to basically seal the game? What was said in the huddle? I mean, we always preach uh, when we get squeezed just to stay positive through adversity. I and mean, he just kept giving us that same message. We always push each other to stay positive in negative situations. So, I mean, every time something negative happened, we knew we could make it positive out of it. Last question. Defense wins championships on a scale of one to 10. Rate your performance for the night defensively. Nah, we didn't do great. We can do better. I feel like we're a championship caliber team. Nah, nah. Pretty confident. Special teams and defense were the two takeaways I took from this game. Very, very powerful units on both sides of the ball for Bessemer City and McAdoo. McAdoo just had the edge in the fourth quarter, making a few bigger plays than Bessemer City did. A muff punt, a punt return, and a couple of stops on defense put the Yellow Jackets in position to take this game 16 to 12. McAdoo moves to 4 and 0. Bessemer 2 to 1, 2 and 1. This is going to be an exciting rest of the season for both teams. This is Darian Pippins. This has been the Hot 107.7 Game of the Week. McAdoo is 16, Bessemer City 12.